Ebony Allard and I'm the Entrepreneur Enabler. It's my mission to enable as many misfit entrepreneurs as I can. That's you lot. You lot who are too creative, too innovative, too geeky, too full of heart to clock in and clock out of a job. So every other week I speak to entrepreneurs from all over the world who are walking their talk. I ask them eight questions in eight minutes and these are their answers. So this week we've got Dana Rivera. Enjoy! Hey everyone, I am super excited to be here and I'm thrilled that Ebony invited me to be part of her 8 and 8 blog post series. So I have the questions right here, so if I'm looking down, that's what I'm doing. Um, and let's get started. So the first question is, what does being an entrepreneur mean to you? So for me, it means being having the flexibility in my life that I always wanted and being able to create a freedom lifestyle that I always imagined but I always thought was out of reach for me. So that's the first part. And the second part is being able to be of service to people that I really feel called to help in a way that I'm super passionate about. So when I was working full time, I was working for a nonprofit, I was helping people in poverty by creating educational content. And when I decided to become an entrepreneur, I felt so guilty because I thought I was being selfish because at first I thought, oh, this, I just want the freedom. I want the opportunity to make more money and to travel and to have this awesome lifestyle. But I realized that being an entrepreneur means more to me than that. It means in really first and foremost, being of service to people that I can really help in a way that I can really impact them. So that's what being an entrepreneur means to me. Second question is, what did you want to be when you grew up? So I never, I didn't, I definitely didn't imagine myself here, but I did always used to watch Turner Classic Movie Marathons and I used to see those credits scrolling by and I always imagined myself, my name to be scrolling by um, right after one of those amazing movies. And I think it was less about being and knowing that I wanted to be an editor and knowing that I wanted to make movies and more about being a part of creating and weaving an amazing story. So me, in my essence, I always wanted to be a storyteller. I never knew how I wanted to do it. And still now the way I do it evolves constantly, but I always knew that I wanted to be a storyteller. Next question, when did you decide to be self-employed? So this whole business entrepreneur thing started because I was in a huge amount of student loan debt and I wanted to make more money to be able to pay it down faster. So I was side hustling for a while on the side of my full-time job until I realized that my side hustle was what really made me feel alive and I loved it way more than my nine to five. So about a year into my business, I decided to pick myself my full-time self-employed date, which was in February, and I pulled through, and I've been self-employed ever since. Next question is, who inspires you? So there are a lot of amazing people in my life that have always supported me, but definitely the two biggest influences in my life have been my parents. My dad has always inspired me because he's had a side business for years now on the side of his full-time job. And he's been commuting an hour and a half each way and for 20 years now. So um, what I couldn't do for two years, he's been doing for 20 years. And I just think he has, I don't know how he has so much energy and so much strength and um, how he can keep going every day doing everything that he does. And he's the reason why I continue to do everything that I do. My mom has inspired me because I'm my biggest critic and she's always been there when I'm down on myself to tell me that I can do anything and that she truly believes that I'm capable of doing whatever I wanna do. So she's inspired me in that way. So yeah, my parents are my two big, biggest cheerleaders and my sources of inspiration. Next question. What is non-negotiable in your schedule? So I struggled with this for a long time and I was kind of all over the place, which was scary for me because I am usually a planner, big planner. And so what I have started to do is making sure that I have self-care time totally blocked out, non-negotiable. 
and I've found that it's huge for my productivity. So that's just about, I, I squeeze off about an hour in the morning and an hour in the middle of the day where I allow myself to read a book, to eat without being interrupted by business, to go for a walk, to do whatever I need to get myself relaxed and back into that creative space. So yeah, next question. What makes you feel, ah, so when I first started, what really and still makes me feel a little like, ugh, was this idea of having to have your whole business planned out for the next five, 10 years. That was so overwhelming for me. I don't know where I wanna be in five years. Um, I don't know how anybody knows, but that was super overwhelming for me. Um, and I still really hate that whole idea. And that kind of leads into the next question, which is, what do you do that helps you feel more? Ah, so what I did to combat that and what I still do is that I started to break everything down. So I would only, I only plan um, about three months at a time, maybe six months if I'm feeling really in the zone, but that helps me really break it down and know that I'm meeting my goals. Um, and I also take that idea of breaking things down into other parts of my life and my business. So if I'm making a video or if I'm writing a blog post or if I'm working with a client, I really try to break things down as much as I can. So yeah, and then uh, we're on our last question, which is what would you like your epitaph to read? So I think what I would like it to read is kid at heart, believer in the magic of small everyday moments and amazing friend. And the reason I'd like it to read that is because I really am just a gigantic kid at heart, um, big Disney lover, um, love my sneakers, um, love being comfortable. I just love amusement parks. Anything that kids love, I love. Um, I also really want to be that person that pe that made people believe that their lives and their stories, no matter how seemingly normal or small, are actually really significant and can really impact other people. Um, and that last part about being an amazing friend, I really want to be that person that people can look to um, if they really need someone to listen and to rely on. So yeah, so that is, I believe, all the questions. That's my eight and eight. I'm really happy to have been here with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And Ebony, thank you so much for having me. So I'll see you guys around. Um, thanks and bye.